So we all want success. The biggest problem with success is often many of us don't actually know what it looks like. So if I were to say to you, yeah, I've got a huge wheelbarrow of success here. I'm going to come around and dump that on your front lawn. Would you know what that success looks like? This is a great analogy from, from Michael Neal. He talks about this wheelbarrow of success, and most people don't know what that might mean. They'll often give vague answers like it's a certain amount of money or a house or something material. But the reality is most of us don't actually have a strong definition of what success means for us. I have that in my life. I know what success looks like for me. Part of that is not working long hours, is spending time with my daughter as she grows up. It's to enjoy living the life that I'm living in this beautiful part of the world. I live near the coast. That for success is what I'm looking for, not to be hugely successfully rich. I mean, don't get me wrong, that would be nice, but that's not what, how I measure my success. So I'm curious, do you have a strong definition of success? What is in your wheelbarrow? If I came around and put that on your front lawn, would you recognise what it looks like to you? Do you know what it means for success for you? For many of you, that might mean, you know, career success, getting a particular job title, like becoming that CEO. The reality is, though, when you get to that point, and I work with many CEOs who've been a CEO for 10 years, they believed it would be getting the job. First of all, they got there. It wasn't. They believed it would be the money. They have much of the money they need. I work with founders who've exited who are, you know, multimillionaires, almost billionaires. Again, they assumed or thought that success would end up being the money. And the reality is it isn't for them. It becomes something different at that point. Because again, us humans are not great at looking at success. So the thing about money is really ultimately it's a fuel for lifestyle, really. You've got to understand what you want to spend that money and what you want to do. And knowing what success looks like for you can really, really help you to understand how to get it, right? And how to get it earlier as well. So it may be that you think, well, I need 10 million euros, 10 million dollars, 10 million pounds to be successful. And the reality is, is it's not that. That's not what success needs to be for you. It doesn't have to be a monetary amount or a particular house or something like that. It could equally be something different. Maybe it's more time to do the things that you want to do. Maybe it's having particular impact in a particular area of your life. Maybe it's doing the things and reconnecting yourself with what was important to you when you were a child or a teenager in your 20s. What really drove you to look at success when you were younger like? By redefining what that success looks like now and understanding what success means to you so you recognise it can really help you to work towards it. And maybe it doesn't have to be that dramatic financial liquidity event that you think it might be that gets you to that success. Perhaps it's something different. But if you don't know what it looks like, how are you going to recognise it when I come and I put a whole wheelbarrow full of it on your front lawn? If you don't know what it looks like, you don't know how to work towards it and you won't recognise it when you get it. I'm curious. I would love to know what success looks like for you. What does it mean to you to be successful? Does it mean money? Does it mean lifestyle? What does it mean to you? Either drop me a comment down there or, or send me a message. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And again, if you're a CEO looking to define what success means for you, drop me a line. Let's have a conversation. I'm really curious as to what that might mean for you. Thanks for your time.